People have to realize that 53 cents of every dollar that they're paying in taxes is going to the military. It's an astonishing figure. There's an enormous, enormous amount of money being blown on war and killing and destruction. But well, well, break this down. Break this down a little bit. You know, how much money? Where's it going? Well, look, there's a $3 trillion 2011 budget proposal. It'll probably go a little higher, but they always do. But, you know, so let's round it up, $3 trillion that uh, is being proposed for the next year. Um, and of that, that includes a direct Pentagon budget request of $717 billion at this point. That will also rise, as it always does. There's a proposal for $158 billion. They call it, now they call it contingency fund uh, for the two wars, but that will rise. Then you got $40 billion in black box intelligence funding that doesn't get written in the budget but really what is, is that they never tell us how much they spend on the cia and the nsa and the dia and all these different intelligence activities which are all war related but uh, a couple of years ago there was a error in testimony in the congress that leaked that the black budget on intelligence was 37 billion dollars but i suspect that it's probably closer to 50 or 60 billion because if you think about it the cia is basically running the predator uh, operation in Pakistan, and that's got to be hugely expensive. So, you know, I suspect that the intelligence budget is probably m much more than 40 billion I gave it. Then you got another almost 100 billion in non Department of Defense military spending, and that includes things like uh, the military portion of NASA, military spending by the State Department. Remember, they hire all those military contractors to guard their uh, embassy operation in Iraq and their embassy operation in Afghanistan and so on. It's pretty huge. And you've got the Homeland Security budget that is largely military, and then the VA, $123 billion in veterans benefits for the uh, damaged goods from all our wars. And finally, there's $400 billion in interest on the debt to pay for our prior wars. And that's just the interest. So that all adds up to $1.6 trillion. $1.6 trillion? And sort of, like, how does that compare to the uh, recent health care bill? Like, where, what's the... Oh, the recent health care bill was a trillion dollars for... 10 years, over 10 years, but we're talking about 1.6 trillion in one year. 1.6 trillion dollars, so we could have, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Next time you hear that the government needs to cut funds for providing medical care to the children of laid off workers or that supplemental unemployment funds are running out, next time you hear that federal funds that are needed to fund extra teachers at your school are being cut or that social security benefits need to be cut back or retirement age needs to be increased to 70, next time you hear your local post office has to be shut down for lack of funds, next time you hear that Medicare benefits need to be reduced, think about that 53% of your tax payment that's going to finance the most enormous war machine the world has ever known. And that's the truth.